As a business owner, you know the symptoms of poor cash flow and the flow on effects to the health of your business. You're probably aware that 82% of small, medium business failures are a result of poor cash flow management. But what doesn't seem to be known quite so well is the best approach to actually improve the cash flow situation. And what I'd like to show you today is a simple but structured approach that you can take to managing cash flow in your business. So I call this a 3F framework uh, and I have it up here on the board. So it's forecasting, funding and focus. And the first part of the framework is forecasting. This is the backbone of good cash flow management. Without forecasting, you can't expect to manage your cash effectively. Now there's two types of cash flow forecasts that you need in your business, a long-term forecast and a short-term one. And your long-term forecast is directly connected to your annual P&L forecast. And this would typically be for a period of 12 months. So that'll give you a big picture view of your cash flow for the year ahead and help guide your strategic decisions. But then to effectively manage your cash flow week to week, you need a short term three month forecast or 12 or 13 weeks. This allows you to get much closer to your operational cash flow requirements. So there's three golden rules to remember with your cash flow forecast. And the first is to keep it alive. So your forecast will be out of date almost immediately. So you need to keep it up to date. Update it once a week and then roll it forward every month. And the second uh, is success, not perfection. So just make a start and refine it as you go. Don't put too much detail in your forecast. Keep it high level. Just get the big numbers right and don't sweat the small stuff. And then the third is to stay close to the numbers. So someone needs to take ownership of the forecast. It's difficult for someone to manage externally. You can't just uh, expect to outsource effective forecasting to your accountant. Someone needs to be intimate uh, with what is happening. And so that's the first step, forecasting. The second part of the framework uh, is funding. Now, tight cash flow is not always a bad thing, within reason. It can make you more diligent, more disciplined uh, in managing your cash flow and help cut down on cash wastage. But when cash flow is too tight, it's then restrictive. So it'll limit your options and hinder your growth. So you need to make sure that you're not starving your business of funding. A good relationship with your bank manager is critical because a crisis is no time to introduce yourself. You'll be on the back foot immediately. Unfortunately, when things are tight and heading into crisis mode, this is the time when most business owners start looking for additional funding. And when you fall into this trap, it effectively means you're asking the bank for help at a time that they're least likely to provide it. So get onto the front foot. How long is it since you've requested a funding review or asked about alternative funding or lower interest rates and fees? How about approaching another bank or lender to see what they can offer? At the end of the day, you need to treat your bank as a supplier. So you need to have a good relationship on the one hand, but then you also need to be able to negotiate well. And the final part of the framework uh, is focus. And it may seem a little obvious, but if you want better cash flow, you need to act like you want it. And this means actually spending some time and focusing on what is required to improve. To so start with the low hanging fruit first off, you'll be able to identify these things easily enough. It may be diligent follow up with some overdue debts. It may be turning slow moving stock into cash or perhaps talking to some suppliers uh, to negotiate extended payment terms. But the short term fixes don't fix your structural cash flow problems, so you need to spend more time, more regular focused time to implement structural improvement. For the most part, the best use of your time is in improving your cash conversion cycle, so your working capital. Monitor your debtor days, inventory days, creditor days. Spend some time, get it right, how can you improve? And then review your fixed costs. A dollar saved is a dollar earned is a dollar extra in cash flow. And then funding, spend some time, focus on it. Do you have the right facilities? Can your funding mix be improved? So just invest some time to focus on actually improving the fundamentals of your cash flow. So that's the, the 3F framework, a forecasting, funding and focus, a simple approach, but one that works and can pay dividends in your business if you set aside some time to work through it. And so that's the challenge for you this week. Where are you lacking in cash flow management? Stop complaining about it, spend some time to identify where the real problems are and then set yourself to fix them.